I don't owe you vagina because you held open the door. <laughs> Let it slam in my face if it's that much of a chore. <laughs> it's those fake nice guys I truly abhor. Quick to uphold you as angel, then condemn you as whore. Yep. I can see the ulterior motive behind your niceness. On some you owe me shit because you showed me some politeness. Think I'm being a tease or playing hard to get, but I'm not playing. It takes more than that to get me wet. <laughs> Am I entitled to your body? Entitled to your energy? Because you said hi and seemingly befriended me. Is that my, my cue to hop up on your dick? Because you showed a little interest. Really? Is it? Would you respect me if I did? I don't chase candy, babe. I'm not a little kid. And I'm not expecting you to chase me either. But give and take means that sometimes I'll be the receiver. And fool's gold is common. So when I see the shine, I have to step a little closer. Really check if it's mine. Is it even real? Are you even real? Because I'll check out your energy before I have a feel. I don't play games. I'm not tricking you with hot and cold. But I have some goddamn patience. Let the shit unfold. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of world are you living in? You think because you paid for dinner that's your ticket in to stick it in. Because <laughs> the free meal was nice, but if it's that much of a chore, honey, I'll pay the price. <laughs> Even for extra rice. <laughs> I met this nice guy at work, but soon his niceness done out. His, my genuine respect for him wasn't enough for his come to come out, so he did a 360. Started acting bitchy. I was so shocked that my eye went twitchy. <laughs> In my naivety, I couldn't see that his pleases and thank yous were just the plea for the pee. Because <laughs> if you are the man you say you are and have integrity, then you don't have to act decent. You would simply be. Can I give you some clicks, guys? I'm just sorry. I know it's hard, a man acts tough because man doesn't want to get parred, but I'm not disrespecting you. Sorry, mate, because I told your microwave ass that you have to wait. <laughs> and fuck a nice guy anyway, and a nice girl too, because being nice is just people pleasing. Just be you. I respect you being genuine more than you being nice. So if you think that's your fast track to paradise, think twice. <laughs> you can't outfox a fox, so don't try sneaking up. I can tell you're on some fake shit because you can't keep it up. The mask is slipping. That's why I'm dipping. <laughs> Too sweet to be good for me, Mr. Kipling. <laughs> My self-esteem is high enough to know what I deserve. So if I smell a rat, best believe I'm going to swerve. <laughs> it's not a scarcity vibe. My life is abundant. And frankly, I find Mr. Nice Guy repugnant. Think because you have a job, it means you can't be a knob. Think because you work, you've earned the right to see me twerk. <laughs> you're not a nice guy, you're a jerk. Worse than the mandem who are raw and real, because at least you know what you're getting. There's no highlight reel. Misogyny runs deep, saying pussy isn't cheap, but neither is respect. So take a seat. You can't make me do anything, so let that shit go. When I'm ready for some dick, trust me honey, you'll know. <laughs> I raise a glass to the men who are genuine and respectful. Not the fake nice guys who are bitter and resentful. Because if the energy you bring to the table is truly real, then trust me, I will show you how I truly feel. Your ego's too damn fragile, I suggest you address it. Or, get a girl with low self-esteem to caress it. <laughs> <laughs>